Hey there fellow gamers, Kevin J Gaming here giving you some more Skies of Arcadia Legends. In the last part, we took on a bunch of Yafutomen uh, air... Well, we took on one Yafutomen airship, and then we took on a couple of Yafutomen air guards. I don't know, it was weird. Anyway, in this episode, we are going to enter the actual place. In the actual, like, city of Yafutoma. Let's go. I like the music here, by the way. The water is so clear, it's beautiful. I wonder where we are. Huh? Uh, everyone's here to see us, I guess. Wow, that ship is so huge! Are those Westerners... Are those Westerners? They dress funny. Hey, look, their hair isn't black. I wonder what they eat to make their hair that color. <laughs> My hair is really going to stand out here. Invaders, why have you come to Yafutoma? Oh, that's the guard. Okay, I had the right voice. These lands are protected by Mount Kazai and the Blue Moon under the sovereign reign of Lord Mikado. Invaders will be punished. Yafutoma? This is really Yafutoma? Yes, you have invaded Yafutoman lands. We did it! We did it! We're in Yafutoma! Yeah! Well done, Vice. This will be recorded in the history books. How dare you invade our lands? I shall strike you down where you stand. Wait! Don't attack them. Oh, it's another guy. They have this. They're gonna have the exact same voice now. Visitors, our primary responsibility is to defend Yafutoma. Please forgive our rush to arms. Lord Mikado has said that he would like to speak with you. Please, if you would come with me. Lord Mikado? I suppose that he is probably the king of these lands. We should follow him. So, you came from the land from the sunsets. You came from the land where the sun sets. Welcome to Yafutoma. My daughter, Moegi, has always been intrigued with the West, haven't you, my dear? Yes, father, please. Yes, father, please. I would love to hear all about your homeland. Can't do like a Japanese girl voice. And if there's anything we can do for you, just ask. <laughs> sure, but I don't but I don't want to be too much of a burden. King Mikado, as our advisor of the royal court, I must say that I am opposed to the idea of foreigners entering our lands. Foreigners have only brought us disaster. We must cleanse them from our lands immediately. I agree with my father. The Westerners can only bring us trouble. We should dispose of them at once. They are our guests. We must welcome them. They can teach us a great deal about the West. And there is much we can teach them as well. But I would like to know why you have traveled to Yafutoma. We're searching for the moon crystal to prevent our enemies from using them to destroy the world. The blue moon crystal? Hmm. Well, I didn't, he didn't say moon. I think you're referring to the jewel that has the powers of the blue moon. The object that you are searching for lies underneath Mount Kazai. Here in Yafutoma, we refer to the object as the Magasphere. Mount Kazai is considered by our people to be a holy mountain, and deep within the mountain lies the azure-colored jewel. Our ancestors passed the jewel to the successors of the throne. After the cataclysm, the jewel was sealed in sound mount inside Mount Kazai. An azure-colored jewel. Vice, that has to be the moon crystal. At one time, Mount Kazai was a volcano, and there is no known way inside. The Maga Sphere has been lost since the days of the old world. If you were to retrieve it for us, we would be eternally grateful. So the Maga Sphere is the bottom is at the bottom of that huge mountain. Leave it to us. Don't worry, we'll get it back for you. Seems pretty simple. I mean that was that started started out pretty bad, but hey, it's cool. Anyway, that's the king's palace. Looks really cool. I really like the look of it. I mean, it's a big old house. Anyway, we are now we're now able to explore uh, the glorious Yafutoma, um, one of my favorite cities in the game. Oh, I have to press A to go in these. Um, um, they have a lot of elevators to get around uh, to the different areas, a lot better than ladders, if you know what I mean. And um, 
Yeah, it's very interesting. What is this? Oh, it's a, it's a chicken. Cluck, cluck, cluck. This bird looks really tasty. Looks tasty, looks tasty. My goodness, it's mimicking you. Don't you go teaching you naughty words now. Looks tasty, looks tasty. <laughs> That's kind of a naughty word. In my mind, it is. Anyway, it's not actually much to do in Yafutoma right now. I mean, we're going to do some shopping. I've never been up here. Anyway. Wait, what? What did you say? This is like a little game we have back at home, but the game pieces look different. I wonder how you play this game. Oh, cool. They're playing uh, Go, I believe it's called, in Japan. Um, the American version that we know is called, like, Reversi or something. Although, as much as I know, it's a very similar game. Anyway, um, we're going to want to go here, I believe. You actually walk into these things. They don't even look like doors, but they are indeed doors. Oh, I'm well. Oh, okay, he gets mad. Okay, well, okay, he's a little mad. Um, you can use these things to help you get around on the water, which, I mean, I'll admit it doesn't look that pleasing to watch. Um, I believe what we want to do... There's things we can do, but we can't do it right now. What we're going to want to do is head over here. Um, we're just using it to speed up the process. There's also a cham nearby. There's one over here. Where is it? Where is it? Cupel, tell me where it is. There, I just found it. Is he standing at an angle right there? Oh, I was thinking that I thought Vice was standing at an angle. Anyway, um, we're gonna give this cham to him. Is he gonna turn into something? Not yet. Well, we will see what it is soon. Anyway, we wanted to come over here because... First off, there's people fighting. No, I don't want to practice sailing. I don't care if I can't sail on a tub ship. Prince... Prince Daigo will come back by himself just fine, even if I don't go searching for him. Oh, he's picking on her. Anyway, um... This is the quote-unquote shopping district. Um, over here is your general supplies. Um, we're going to want to come here first... Well, well, my, 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 what you, well, my, whatever, I completely butchered that. Anyway, we're going to take just 10 Sacrum Crystals, 20 Sacrulen Crystals, uh, let's just take with another 5 Rhizlum Crystals, and that's all we're going to need from her. We'll sell some stuff after, um, when we get to the other store, because first thing we're going to want to do is head over here, because if you saw from the outside... This falls like that, and you get something. 3,000 gold, which helps. That's useful. Anyway, um, we're going to open up this. And we're going to see what the weapon guy is selling. We want to buy the Swearin Blade. Swearin Blade is better than what we have. The Yin Wing is better than what Aka had, whatever it was. And the Blade of Slumber is better than... Um, the sword is literally called Enrique. That's weird. Anyway, um, we'll stick to the yellow for now, actually. Just because. We'll sell off our old weapons. Oh, it's called the Rapier. Why did it say Enrique? Anyway, I'll get rid of the Dream Cutlass, get rid of the Sky Wing, get rid of the Hunter Sword. Um, don't believe we... That Ghost Mail looks good, though. Maybe that moss armor, actually. We're going to hold on to those. We'll get rid of the counter bracer. It's not as great. Um, we got to upgrade a lot of stuff on our ship, actually. We'll sell those later. Um, we'll sell the rest of our sky sardis. All 54 of them. You don't need them. They don't do much. Um, these gruels we don't need. We'll sell those. Chalice of blood that we picked up in um, the dark rift. We'll sell that off. And that's all we can sell. So we're just going to buy some last things. Scale mail. Better than what Vice was wearing, but not necessarily. Eh, it's debatable. The Soranchu robe, we're gonna buy one of those. Yeah, we'll buy one of these for Aka, and then we'll buy two long robes for both of them. And then that should be pretty good. Um, and we don't really. Oh, that would be really good for the girls. 
But, I mean, we can't afford it right now. Well, actually, well, we can sell off the old stuff. The two naval uniforms. The Ixitakan armor. Enrique's coat. I still gotta see what those ones are like. And then we'll buy... We'll just buy two of these. And give them both to Aka and Fina. That way so they can have better magic damage. And that's all we really need to do. Anyway, so that's all the shopping we're going to be doing. So from here, we're actually just going to want to head down, I believe. But, um... Let me check, let me check that armor that we have, because I still haven't checked it, and I really want to see how it... How it looks. I gotta go to equipment. Because we're on the scale mail. Yeah, ghost mail is worse by a lot. And that moss armor... I want to see that moss armor, but I don't know who can wear it. Yeah, it's not good. Okay, so we'll sell those when we get a chance to. Um, also, before I forget, on the Delphinus, equip over the Valuan Torpedo, the Heavy Torpedo, which does more damage, has less chance to hit, but can actually go three... Um, can go three turns. It can land three turns later. And we'll just switch this up to the... Oh, the 12-inch cannon's worse. Okay, then we just won't use it. That's fine. So we know we can solve the last of those. That's good. Okay. Alright, now we're going to head back down. So there's a couple ways to get down. Um, we'll explore this area a little bit more when we're sort of done this whole side quest area. So for now, we're just going to leave our boat back here. And we're going to head back to our ship because we got to go to Mount Kazai. quickly come here because this is the nautical shop and the nautical shops like the best thing the ship parts merchant before departing would you like to buy some ship parts yes because he's gonna take us to Mount Kazai and we're not gonna do that yet um, let's see what he's got the Yamato the Yamato spirit um, it's probably is a lot better than our prototype cannon so we're gonna want to pick that up um, we're gonna want to and these cannons are better than the last ones. And that serpent torpedo is better than our heavy torpedo. Okay, so we're just going to sell off the old stuff. We know we don't need this, or this, or either of those. So we can get rid of both of those. And we can sell the blue and torpedo and the 12-inch cannon. Oh, we got to check those how those work. But anyway, um, we're going to buy... Hmm. It's debatable what I want to put in. Because there's two sub cannons. We'll put in the Yumato Spirit. Because that is a powerful thing. Uh, we'll put it over the prototype cannon, I guess. And then we'll sell it off, like our old one. Oh, we don't need the armor deck, I know that much. And then we're going to buy. Oh, we can't afford anything. Rudder Grease, what does that do? Slows the rate of spirit. It's so weird. Anyway, um. Okay. What am I doing? I just want to check. We got like the engine cover. Timing valve is better than the engine cover. Alright. So we'll put those in. And then we'll just sell it to them really quick. Not like it really matters. It doesn't give us a lot of money. We can't afford anything else. It's okay. I feel like we can sell some stuff that we don't need. Rise and crystals, yeah, I hate them, so let's get rid of those. So the power box, I'm never going to use. Those crystallis boxes have been used. I don't want to really get rid of them. Pyre boxes, we don't need. Um, yeah, get rid of the crystallis boxes. They've been used enough. I never use these concussion bombs. You can keep it or sell it if you need the money. I'm going to hold on to it, just because I feel like I might need it for whatever reason. And you still can't afford anything. Uh, I just want to sell off something. That'll get me closer to it. Sacri crystal? Not going to be enough. There we go. Get rid of half of our magic dues. Buy the 5-inch cannon. Do we want the 5-inch or the 3-inch? Uh, that's a tough call. It's a very tough call. Let's go with the three inch. It takes up less spirit, I believe. I 
In fact, it's cheaper. It uses up less spirit. But they both do. Mm. The limit's bad on it. I'm going to take the 3-inch cannon and put it over the advanced cannon. Um, it's going to be a bit of a weird thought process. But anyway, we're going to head to Mount Kazai. Let's go into Mount Kazai. I'll keep the ship underway so you guys can just sit back and take it easy. We almost forgot. If we're going to go to inside Mount Kazai, we better take this along. And get the underwater suit. Deep inside Mount Kazai is a cavern, and in some places there will be water. This underwater suit will come in handy. What? We have to go underwater? But I can't swim! Do not worry. As long as you're using the underwater suit, you should be fine. Just be sure to breathe normally. Well then, shall we get going? Make way for Mount Kazai. Let's go. This is exciting, guys. This is the best part. Water here is so calm. It, it looks like glass. It's actually really cool. It's hard to imagine that this was a volcanic area covered in lava at one time. <gasps> what is that thing? That is interesting. What? It, it looks like a huge bird. That must be Blueheim. Blueheim? 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 I don't know how to say it. Yes, Blueheim was the Blue Gigas. It looks like Blueheim was trapped in the lava and encased in stone. If that thing ever got free, we'd be in trouble. That Gigas that you faced so the Gigas that you faced so far couldn't fly. Can't imagine how tough this one would be. We should secure the blue crystal as soon as we can. Let's go. All right, now we can always head back to Yafutoma if we want by just coming back out here. But we don't really have much time left this episode to go into Mount Kazai. So, next time on, um... <clears throat> next time on Skies of Arcadia Legend. Legends? Legend, yes. Legends. We are going to head into Mount Kazai. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys all next time.